I walked into Shakespeare seven years ago, timid, shy, unsure of who I was and who I wanted to be. Seven years later, I walked out of that ensemble and out of those prison gates stronger, with a renewed sense of self-esteem, ready to share my talent with the world. What I've gotten in here, I've gotten nowhere else in prison. And I'm pretty, I'm sure that I won't be returning. And a lot of that is contributed to Shakespeare. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons you to heaven or to hell. I am who I am today, and I found the success that I found because of the valuable skills and the valuable relationships attained in that group. When I came out, I had kind of a baseline that said, this is, this is the person I want to be. This is how I'm going to live my life. Shakespeare also is like, for me, is pre preparation for the world. It's preparation for work. It's easy to see the big picture and go, get overwhelmed, but you just look in at one part and you do your part and then it starts to spread from start to end. And I think I've definitely got that from Shakespeare, the focusing on not the big picture, even though you need to know what the end result is, but focusing at it one step at a time. In every line in Shakespeare uh, in his plays means something. Everything that is said needs to be driven home. It needs to have purpose, it needs to have its own life. So in my own life, I'm really trying to pick my words more carefully. It also helps me calm my brain down. And it allows me to actually hear myself when I talk for once. And it helps me understand myself more. I was able to get out of my shell. I was able to actually take on the emotions of the actual character. Playing that role showed me how to still love someone no matter what or the circumstances. The volunteers are the ones who make the most, it's not the corrections officers, it's not the, sadly it's not the therapist, it's not the warden. Those are the people that have the most impact on us. It's the people that come in there and give their time freely. It's the PCAP volunteers, the Shakespeare volunteers, the people from the Eastern who come and teach us poetry. We need people in there that truly, truly care about us and invest in us. That's what's gonna help us come home. Being able to stay in contact with the facilitators post-release has really been the difference between kind of having to leave the life and lessons of SIP, working with them on the inside, between leaving that there and actually allowing it to come with you and live outside of the facility and, live and become a part of your life. And I just have such hope for like what life is going to be like after Shakespeare because I've done Shakespeare.